Good day. This video is trigonometry. It's part of the grade 11 and 12 syllabus. We are going to do a sum like this one that says determine without using a calculator the value of the following in terms of t. If sine 34 degrees is t, then you must work out cos 56 and tan minus 34 degrees. We're going to do something like this. Our question says sine 32 degrees equals p. Find the following in terms of p. We're not going to start with this yet. We're going to activate this part. The first thing you do is you rewrite sin 32 equals. You make it p over 1. Then you either use o over h from Sokatua or you know that it's y over r. The next thing you go onto the Cartesian plane and 32 degrees will be from north up there. You draw a terminal ray and a line back to the x-axis. Sign we said is o over h. So the p will go on the opposite from 32. And the hypotenuse is over here, or if you use y over r. Then, because this is 32 degrees and that is 90, the interior angles tell me that will be 58 degrees. That's the method I use. Then we have to work out the missing side here. You don't have to put this triangle on a Cartesian plane. I do. Now I use Pythagoras to work out the missing side. Long square equals short square plus short square. Then you fill in the numbers. The 1 goes over here. The P goes over here, and there I just wrote short square or anything else that you want. Now you simplify it, then you square root both sides to get rid of the square. You must remember to write the plus minus here. Now we only use the plus part, because x over here is positive, so x is plus the square root of 1 square minus p square. Remember, if there's a plus or minus under a square root, you cannot square root that 1 and that p square. It stays like that. Then I write this information in here. So I've got the hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent. Standing at 32 degrees. Our first question says, find cos 328 degrees. Using reduction, we know that cos 360 minus 32 is the same as this. I don't write this step. I go straight from here in here. Remember to put your plus here, cos 32. From Sukatua, you know that cos stands for A over H, or X over R, standing at 32 degrees. Then you pull your information out of this drawing. Adjacent of 32 is this amount. I wrote it there. And then the hypotenuse standing over here is 1. So that is the final answer of cos 328 in terms of P. If you don't understand how I got from cos 328 to plus cos 32, look at the video reduction trigonometry. Please stop the video and see if you can see what happened here. If you have trouble with reduction or special angles, you just type on my channel trigonometry reduction grade 11 separate video trigonometry special angles grade 10. The next question we have to write in terms of P is tan minus 58 degrees. Again we're using reduction so this becomes minus tan 58 degrees you keep the minus, and you know that tan is O over A from Sokatua. I redrew our drawing over here, and we're standing now at 58 degrees. So we got minus O over A at 58 degrees. So I stand here. My opposite is here, and my adjacent is here. So this will be my final answer for tan minus 58 degrees. The next one I'm going to do is 2 cos 58 degrees. This is just my planning. I'm going to make that a 2 over 1 because there's a fraction coming. We know that cos is A over H from Sokatua, and we're standing at 58 degrees this time. So I stand there. My adjacent is this one, and my hypotenuse is that one. Then we fill it in. And our final answer is 2P. So 2 cos 58 degrees in terms of P is 2P. These two parts you don't have to write. I like to write it. It reminds me what I have to do. The next two is only for grade 12. So we have to work out sine 62 degrees. Now we must get it back to the 32 degrees that we started with. In this case, we're going to make it a compound angle. 62 degrees is the same as sine 30 plus 32 degrees. So for this purpose, I need my special angle triangle, or whatever you use, and the diagram that we already drew with all the particulars in there. Now we expand this with a compound angle identity that you should know or get it on a formula sheet. 
sine 30 is O over H standing at 30 degrees opposite over hypotenuse. I wrote it there. Cos 32 is A over H. I stand at 32. My adjacent is here and my hypotenuse is there. I wrote it over there. My cos 30 is A over H standing at 30 degrees adjacent over hypotenuse. I wrote it over there. The sine 32, I come and stand at 32, is O over H, which I wrote over there. Then you simplify the algebra. If you times this out, you'll get this. And if you times this out, you'll get this. You simplify it together. This will be your final answer. Stop the video and try and get your brain around this. Now grade 12 again. We've got to get this cos 64 degrees to something 32 degrees. Using double angles, we can use cos 2 times 32 degrees. Writing down any one of your three cos double angle identities, I chose 2 cos squared 32 minus 1. Because I'm going to run into fractions, I write the 2 as 2 over 1. Cos is A over H from 32 adjacent over hypotenuse. I wrote it over here. Remember your square minus 1. Then you simplify this bracket first by squaring it out. You times the 2 into the bracket, and you only simplify this further. Please stop the video and try and understand what happened here. This is only for grade 12. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video. If you run into a school mathematical problem that you can't solve, you can send a clear WhatsApp photo of your problem and what grade you are to this number. Then we will try and solve it and send back an answer to you as soon as possible for free.